We're gonna begin in a comfortable seat, bringing your left hand to your heart and your right hand to your belly, setting an intention for today's intermediate yin class. Taking a few breaths here. Take a big inhale and bring your shoulders down and drop it, just to release any additional tension you may have. One more time, and then release. Now we're gonna come into a butterfly pose, bringing, bending your knees and bringing both of your soles together. Lengthening your back, and looking straight ahead. If you have the flexibility to lean over and bend down and closer to your feet, then do so now. If not, then you can just sit straight up. You can also press your forearms against your knees to deepen the hip stretch. It's important in yin to stay in these poses for long. That's how you gain your flexibility. Take a few breaths here. Just feeling the sensation of the stretch. Extending the legs and dropping your pelvis gently on the ground. Do a little bit of core work with engaging your core and your legs. It's a great mini back bend. Take a few breaths here. Keeping your gaze straight ahead and your forearms placed firmly on the mat. you can just bring your head down and place it on the tops of your hand just to take a few moments for yourself make sure to breathe in through your nose out through your nose next inhale you just come into a quick tabletop sink back into your wide knee child's pose if you don't have Great knees, you can also do a narrow knee child pose. It's a great stretch, but it's also the main goal is to just be in the pose and be present in whatever feels comfortable for you. And get the flexibility in due time, but don't force it. Do whatever feels good to you. You can bring it and step your left foot on the outer edge of your left hand. We're going to come into a lizard pose, which is another great hip flexor stretch. And be sure to keep a gaze straight ahead. If you have the flexibility, you can bring your forearms to the ground, but by no means do you need to do it. Do whatever feels comfortable for you. And make sure you lengthen the spine. Don't sink in or have like a hunch back. Just keep the integrity of the pose and breathe in. And every time you breathe out, you can sink in a little deeper. 
if you also have blocks, you can use them if you can't quite reach the ground with your forearms. totally fine. I have more flexibility on my left than my right, so I will not be coming down onto the ground with my forearms. And that is okay. Be sure to keep your chest propped out if your hands are, if your palms are on the mat. Taking a deep inhale and an exhale. Feeling the sensation of your lizard pose, keeping your back straight. You can swing your right back, your right leg at back, and do a little quick stretch just to loosen up your hips a little bit. time favorite pose pigeon pose you can swing your left knee bend your left knee and swing it to the front come into a pigeon pose you can stay here or if you have the flexibility and your hips are open you can come down and bring your face on your back of the palm of your hand and just release If you can't quite get this pigeon pose, feel free to do a client pigeon pose as well. It's also helpful in stretching out your hip flexors. If you have the flexibility, you can kind of thread the needle and swing your right arm towards the back, stretching out your shoulders, but by no means do you have to do this. I just felt really good and I felt like trying this, just to stretch out my shoulders for a bit and to get deeper in my pigeon. Release and come out of your thread the needle and pigeon. Prop yourself back up. Take a breath here. Tuck your right foot. Swing your hips a little bit just to release that pose and you can come into pigeon on your right side. Making sure you're squaring your hips.
with your pigeon on your right side. So prop yourself up and be in this moment. And swing your right foot back. Do a quick little release. string action feel free to stay propped up in staff pose but if you want to play with your flexibility you can grab your toes or your shins whatever feels comfortable you can also use a block on your thighs and hold on to that as well just breathe in and sink down whatever your flexibility allows you to sink lower just be where you are slowly come out of your forward bend twisted root pose so you can just twist your ankles together bend your knees and place it on the left side and turn your head to the right take a few breaths here it's a nice little back release you can also cactus your arms Facing forward, bring your knees back, and we're going to do this on the right side. So bring your knees to the right, look to the left, and just feel this lower back stretch. Thank you so much for joining me in today's class. 
and stay in your shavasana for as long as you need to please continue to support i appreciate you all thank you so so much